day nine, and we're off to Magic Kingdom. Woo! Good morning, everyone. Oh my God. We. What? <laughs> what was wrong with that? Good morning, Vietnam. Hi, guys. <laughs> so we are on 25 to 10. We have just got to the Magic Kingdom. We had a very late night last night, as you saw. Um, but we are having a nice, leisurely day Stroll. today. I kind of planned for it. Um, so we've got three fast passes booked, three that we wanted. We've got Space Mountain, Big Thunder, and Seven Dwarves Mine Train all booked today. Um, all in the space of about two and a bit hours, really. Um, so if, obviously, if you go for the end of your first one and the beginning of your third one, so we're not going to be in the park for too long today. But we'll show you a few things. We're going to pick up a few snacks. Nothing too heavy, because we're off to the Contemporary Resort for California Grill tonight to watch fireworks up on the top deck. Um, but yeah. So we're going to head towards our first fast pass, which is Space Mountain. Okay, so we are on Tomorrowland Speedway. Ah! Yay! Yeah, if I have some rice, I throw it, but I don't have any rice, so. <laughs> So, even though we got into the park pretty late this morning, we were able to jump on Tomorrowland Speedway, or Cars of Doom, before our fast pass for Space Mountain, which we are heading towards right now. So I'll show you guys a little bit of the queue and how sort of, what the difference is really between fast pass and the standard queue. Hopefully we'll be able to see that, because this is one of those where you just kind of literally walk in a straight line right up until the very end. Um, so let's go have a little look at that. Morning, thank you. That's making me feel all funny, that. Okay guys, so that's the back of the standby queue and we're always still walking past those guys and the standby goes towards the left there sort of concertinas round maybe four or five times whereas fast pass to avoid all of that and jump straight to the right so if you really want to get on this it is definitely worth saving yourself 45 minutes in that queue over there so we're going to scan ourselves in for a second time. Welcome everyone to Space Man, side by side, two by two. Thank you. We're going to go ride Space Mountain. We will see you 
on the other side. See if Sophie's hair and ears are still attached when we get to the other side. Okay, so we just got off Space Mountain. Um, I don't know about, I mean, we just had a little chat about it. That felt a lot calmer yeah. than usual. We're not sure if it's because we went on the Hulk last yesterday. Yeah, and the last time we went to Space Mountain it was Halloween and all the lights were off, so it was super spooky and, you know, like, yeah. you really didn't know where you were going. I mean, there were a few um, young children in the car in front of us that was attached to our trolley, as it were. Yeah, so so we don't know, know whether you, yeah. they actually turn it down, maybe, yeah. to if sort of compensate. If you work for Space Mountain and you can let us know, that'd be yeah. great. Let us know. Is it just because we've done something a lot, lot faster? Yeah. And upside down and twisted turning. Yeah, yeah. But that to me almost felt like a, just a, a train ride. Weird. Yeah. Very strange. Just this little note as well. Um, there's a family in front of us on the way off the ride that were having a little bit of a barney. If you don't know what a barney is, that's an argument. Um, it sounded like the, one of them, the son's phone had come out of his pocket ride so just to know empty pockets take your ears off yeah i mean when you look at the shorts have different pockets okay so if yeah you know that i'm not You're talking about i know one. right but these are like you know proper pea shorts, <laughs> shorts yeah slit down the side the stuff just slides out if you've got like sort of chino or jean shorts on with a pocket that goes straight across at the top then I think you'd be absolutely fine. Or if you've got zips or cargo or little poppers, anything like that, you'd be absolutely fine. But if you've got slippery pea shorts on, it is not the way to go. You stood on a spoon and it made yeah. a horrendous noise. Yeah, I thought I'd stood on a person. <laughs> well, Bye. yeah, so a little bit of info for you. Yeah. Yeah. So we are gonna head across towards Frontierland see what some of the wait times are like but we've got another fast pass now oh Big just so you know we managed to come on a day when there's some sort of college football thing going on there's like a massive crowd at the front and every other person's got like either a t-shirt with a gator on it or something yeah. else so, so if you, yeah, know if you what were that there is. let us know and let us know what it is because it, it seems cool <laughs> Quick update then guys, the walls outside Sleepy Hollow are now down and the moat is obviously empty but there is a guy down here doing a little bit of painting. Hey dude. Looking beautiful. And I'm pretty sure he's actually painting the bricks. Yeah, because they did that one. Yeah, because it's red. I'm impressed. Painting the bricks as well. So Sleepy Hollow refreshments. Might see if Soph's tempted by a waffle in a bit. Right guys, we've made it over to Big Thunder Mountain. So we're gonna go and check out our fast pass and see how quick this flies by as well. Time's currently 10 to 11. Stand in on either side for me, folks. Touch Mickey to Mickey, we'll turn green, come on green. Right, Thank you, Nixon. <laughs> Yeehaw! Sorry, I don't know what came up. It's the wildest ride in the wilderness. Right, so we've got to this point in the queue at Big Thunder where it says use both sides. What is your go-to of working out which side to use? Okay, so like I said, you, oh, to be fair, so actually that's worked out. We're kind of level anyway. Two. Thank you. How many you get out? right at the very front of Thunder Mountain. Which I'm pretty sure it is the tamer part of the train. So don't ever be afraid to ask for the back or the front, whichever you prefer. If any of you folks are wearing hats or glasses, this here's the wildest ride in the
Oh. Oh. Hey. Just going past Nugget Way. It's so a little fun. bit of a photo in front of uh, the thingy, what were you saying before? So I was about to say it's the small me. things that <laughs> yeah. uh, make you smile, isn't it? Nugget Way. Come off Big Spot. It's got a catastrophic injury. Look! Look at the, Look at the grays. That. Yeah. That's worked out pretty well. So it's 11.04. We have a fast pass for Seven Mine Train at about. 10 to 12. And it's boiling at the yeah, moment, so roasting. we're going to go and get some AC somewhere. Yeah, we're going to head, I think, towards Fantasyland, Seven Dwarves is obviously that direction, and pick up a cinnamon roll. Yeah, so they are. A nice drink or something. Enormous. We'll see. We will see. Okay, slight change of plan. We've called in at the Aloha Isle Refreshment, home of the Dole Whip. I think we're going to go for the Dole Whip Pineapple Float. I'm trying to see if so fancies a pineapple upside down cake. Do you fancy that? Or are we giving that a miss for a bit? I don't know, because you want the cinnamon roll as well, don't you? I do. I do want a cinnamon roll from Gaston. So we might give that one a bit of a miss for now. Unless I have the pineapple and you have the cinnamon roll. That's what will happen. So, what have we got? We have the pineapple upside down cake with Dole Whip on. You can choose to have a Dole Whip, a vanilla or a, a mix. And then we went for this one, looks like a bit of a special item-ish. It was on yeah. a separate menu. That's the raspberry and pineapple swirl float. With Lovely. pineapple juice at the bottom. So we're going to see what these are like. Nice and cold. Like a nice bit of Try the cake food. then before it melts. Good. Great. Right, we're going to make these disappear. Okay, we have eaten our Dole Whip and our pineapple upside down cake. And so, what did you think to the cake? It's lovely. You thought it was really nice, didn't you? I, uh, I thought it was a little bit dry. I'm usually a sweet tooth person. I usually like cake. But uh, it wasn't quite for me, but that's fine. Maybe you disagree, maybe you like it. I mean, like Soph said, she really enjoyed it. Uh, I am looking forward to this cinnamon roll, though. Uh, I'm very full. <laughs> well, you so ate most Mr. of the cake. Mr. Yeah. Perry will be, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go try that. that on his own. For the Dole Whip, really, really nice. I do, and I'm going to say something really controversial now. We had the lime yeah. soft serve version of a Dole Whip on the, during the Halloween party. And I thought that was much nicer than the original pineapple Dole Whip. 
Um, but we're going to head through to Fantasyland and we're actually going to head there this time as opposed to just telling you that we're heading there and then sidetracking off to some other place. Uh, so we will see you there. You're on video. Wow. <laughs> I'll get a picture of you. Okay, so here is the warm cinnamon roll. I'm just going to ask Soph to hold that up next to her head, just to show you how actually large that thing is. That looks That's beautiful. My hand. <laughs> yeah. And I've also asked for an extra pot of the icing that they used to put on top. So they are more than happy to give you some of that. And we're going to see what it tastes like. Go on, give it a bite. I'll let Soph, who's full up on pineapple upside down cake, have the first bite. So. What's it like? The nice. There you go, but she's not hungry. <laughs> she's completely full. Honest. Oh, dipping. Yeah. Oh, go get Okay, so we are leaving Gaston's Tavern. And I think that that was really, really nice. I mean, are you a fan of the cinnamon roll? It's a little bit too much for Soph, it is, it's huge. Um, but I think, as far as bang for your buck goes... Yeah, I think, I think you're on the yeah. Disney dining plan. Oh, definitely, I think you can get that as a snack credit, can't you? And it's a meal. Oh, a meal definitely, yeah. It's a brilliant breakfast item, I think. If you were to get in first thing and just go grab one of those. But we have our final fast pass, and we are headed to Seven Dwarves Mine Train. And then, we've sort of made the decision that we're gonna go try out the other outlet store. I'm not sure how that's gonna go, to be honest, because we said, when we went to the last one, we were like, oh, we'll make sure we go to the next one really early in the morning. Yeah, and actually we'll be getting yeah, there about one o'clock in the afternoon. So. so it might work out, might not. Hello. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Okay, we'll just check the app. And the wait time for Mine Train at the moment is 90 minutes. So the longest wait time in the park. We're going to take you guys on the ride and show you a little bit of seven hours. Sophie's out of tune whistling. Maybe that, uh... No, I love it. This is the second time they write shut down. Okay, so hopefully this won't take too long. We're all set and ready to go. Finished on mine train. He did sort of stop again, um, as you sort of saw in that video, just towards the end, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine queuing up for 90 minutes and that happening. 
yeah, I think if that had happened and we'd queued up, I would have asked to go on it again. Yeah. It's not really. I know they've got certain things that happen sometimes, but yeah, it's not great. Oh yeah. But we are on our way out now of Magic Kingdom. We're going to so go past gonna, the castle. Yeah. We're going to walk to Contemporary Resort and see if we can get an Uber from there. Because if not, we'll have to go to the transportation centre. Yeah, I don't really want to get on a bus, to be honest. We're feeling a little bit rebellious with the buses at the moment because they're taking a very long time. I think they're great, and I think it's one of the perks of obviously stopping at a Disney hotel. But uh, there's just something nice about getting in your own car and having somebody else do all the driving, really. Yeah, so we've got to walk over to the Contemporary Resort and get a taxi from there because they don't actually let other non-Disney vehicles into the bus terminal. And the only other way of getting an Uber is to get a bus. A boat. Over, a bus or a boat, I think, to the transportation centre. So we're going to do that. So we're leaving. Yeah. <laughs> um, the happiest place on earth. And we are currently walking up the left-hand side of the bus terminal uh, because actually the Contemporary Resort is just over the road. Uh, we considered the monorail, but again it's queuing up for it and tends to not getting on it. So we thought it's a lovely day, we will try and soak up the sun. Sophie's going to try and not get too burnt. <laughs> I'm trying to get under the shade like this. But... but yeah, we'll show you a little bit of this walk, just so you've got an idea if you ever want to do it yourselves. Thank you. Okay, so we're inside the Contemporary Resort and Sophie's over at their Joffrey's stand getting herself an iced coffee at the moment. Uh, just about to book an Uber um, through to the outlet. But this looks really, really nice in here. Really nice and fresh and clean and new. And there's some elevators just down there that I'm pretty sure we'll need to get in later when we head to California Grill, which is all the way upstairs. We are stood in another line only this time to actually get into the outlet on International Drive. Is it? Yeah. This outlet is huge. Like we got dropped off and it was kind of like just fend for yourself. No I don't, maps. There's no maps anywhere. Every now and then you come across one of these big digital things, which is great if you know exactly where you want to go and you can type in, I want to go there and it will give you a route. But I just want a paper map. <laughs> just give me a paper map. Because literally, there's all these booths, and just to rub it in, there's people selling maps for Universal Studios and, and Disney. Disney and SeaWorld, and all I want is a map to navigate where the shops are and what shops are. I just want to go in. But we are here anyway, we're at the character warehouse. Um, so we're going to go like in. this one might be a bit better than the last one. Yeah. Um, Looks like there's a few more items knocking about, so we're going to go see what they've got inside. <laughs> Far too amused by that. You'd forgotten about the cat, hadn't you, from Captain Marvel? You know, some nice some some characters, and like I said, there's just loads and loads of toys and things like that. A few odd bits. A few odd bits that might suit us. But it is absolutely rammed in here. Absolutely heaving. Hi, guys. So, we have just got to the Contemporary Resort. We have been to the second floor California Grill check-in, so that's where we're headed tonight. We're up to California Grill, which is up on the 15th floor. And we're just waiting for somebody to call her name and allow us up in the special elevator. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, there doesn't really appear to be any sort of seating up on the second floor, or like a bar area or anything like that, which is... I don't know, it feels like it's kind of lacking, say it's like a signature kind of experience. Instead we're sort of stood around this workspace unit. And uh, but hey. Okay, so we've been seated at the California Grill. Um, 
And as you can see, they've got the windows, the sort of floor to ceiling. And outside, you can sort of see the park. Um, shame we're not a little bit close to the window. Yeah. But uh, nonetheless, we're hoping that the viewing station's outside. You can get to. We're going to double check that in a minute. But they've already fetched over some bread. More bread. Um, so this is some sort of sourdough yeah. bread uh, that we're going to share. And a nice little sort of oil to dip in. I'm going to see what these are tasting like. The first thing that we've ordered has arrived, and it is this lovely looking Californian honeybee. So the wontons have just arrived. Okay, so we now also have some appetizer wontons to go with the bread. Okay, so at the far end of the California grill, there is this viewing station that they open up. So 20 minutes before the fireworks, and if you look down there, you've got the bus station where all your Disney buses come, and the view of Magic Kingdom is incredible. Obviously the castle and Space Mountain over there. I'm going to show you these really, really quick, and then Sophie's going to tell you what we've got. So Sophie's got the chicken over there. The green I... circle mole chicken. The green what? Green circle mole chicken. Mole chicken. Mole. Mole. And I went for the beef. And what's the beef exactly? Wait. Talk us through. It's gone. Your phone closed. It is. Okay. This is the advantage of people taking menus away Fired from you. Fillet of beef. Oak fired so, fillet. We are going to make this disappear. We are, yeah. So I'm going to put you down. I'm not going to even show you eating it because it looks too good to let go cold. And they all live happily ever after. Each of us has a dream, a heart's desire. It calls to us. And when we're brave enough to listen and bold enough to pursue, that dream will lead us on a journey to discover who we are meant to be. All we have to do is look inside our hearts and unlock the magic within. So we've come in from the fireworks outside. That was really, really lovely to watch, wasn't it? it? Just gives it a different perspective. And then obviously we'd seen them. I'll turn it around so I'm in as well. And there was, well, it's really close actually. And then there was the lightning as well going off outside. So it was like, and I kept getting distracted. By yeah, didn't know what to look at, the fireworks or the lightning. I don't think Soph's realised that it's still there, but do you notice anything slightly different? <laughs> so, we have ordered for dessert the creme brulee that looks really, really fancy, and we've got some sort of, I don't know, cornflakes or something? What? Special, it looks like a special cake. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the strawberry. Yogurt special cake. And our server has also fetched Sophie okay. out. 
a piece of cake to celebrate our honeymoon. You don't need to see my phone. Right, we will make this disappear. We are back on the platform up above the Contemporary Resort. The meal up at California Grill was really, really nice. Um, I thought the appetizer, we got some beef wontons. Mm -hmm. They were fantastic, weren't Spot they? Spot on, yeah. Um, they were about $16, uh, which isn't too bad for an appetizer, I don't think. But it was a big then, appetizer um, as well. It was, yeah, we split that. And then for mains, obviously, so I've got the chicken, I got the beef. Um, that was slightly more. But again, I think the beef was worth the price I paid. It was a fillet fill of beef. Yeah. And it, it was nice. It cut like butter, didn't it? It did. It was really, really nice. Um, and then we got a dessert to share. We got the creme brulee. And then obviously the waiter fetched out um, two glasses of champagne and a piece of cake just to help us celebrate our honeymoon, which was a really nice it. touch. Really nice. Um, all in, I think that was just over $150. Um, so it, it's not the cheapest of restaurants by a long way. Yeah. And it's still got a few, like, I don't know, teething problems, as it were, I think, even though it's been open for years now. Uh, now, other than that, overall, if you're focusing on my face again, uh, a really nice night. Right? Yeah. Uh,